So Democrats need to win or pick up a total of five seats to have total control of the chamber. At the beginning of the year, they would have had Ohio and Florida in that calculation. Uh, Chuck Schumer, who's going to be the next Democratic leader, told me about a week or two ago, said but we don't count Ohio and Florida in the calculation anymore because the Koch brothers have spent so much money north of $10 million against Ted Strickland, several million down in Florida on behalf of Marco Rubio. They look now to Wisconsin, Illinois, Pennsylvania, New Hampshire, North Carolina, Nevada, places like that, where the Kochs and, and other outside groups have not necessarily spent as much money. Is it all about the money now? Because remember, Donald Trump, even at the times he was doing very well, wasn't spending a lot of money because of the, he was able to use the media so effectively. It's hard to say. that. I mean, these kinds of races, when we're talking about state races for the Senate or for House seats, I think the money does make a really big difference. Um, it, it, I think it's made less of a difference uh, in the presidential. I think Hillary Clinton and her campaign and others have been pretty systematic about bombarding Trump and a bunch of states with the ads that most of us have probably seen that are basically using his words against him. And in that front, his own organization, whether it be television advertising or in the kind of get out the vote sort of things, has just been way, way far behind hers. Um, and I think who knows what point difference that in itself has made. Um, but I'm not sure that at this point it's really going to matter much who spends what down the last down the stretch. 